All right, what I'm going to show you today is a program. This is 1080 right here. And this is a 4x3 shot thrown in. But let's look at the 4x3 shot. When I double click on it, it comes up here. And Final Cut has blown it up to 225%. That's huge. That's gonna sh you're going to see some distortion. It's not going to look very pretty. But what I'm going to show you how is to blur the edges. And I just put color bars here so I can see something in the background. I have to see something. So here's my shot. What I'm going to do is arrow up so the playhead's aligned with the shot. I'm going to double click on this shot. and I'm going to turn on track 3. What I did is before I double clicked on it I turned off sync because I just want to play with a uh, video for a bit. I don't want to bring up the audio again and lay the audio back down. So I'm going to overwrite and so now we have the same shot on both tracks. The first thing we do is this shot on top, this is our main shot untouched. So I'm going to turn off the video here just to show you this. If you turn off your video, you're going to unrender everything. And there's a zipper on both sides. So I'm going to double click on this. It's going to come up to motion or in the video preview. I'm going to hit motion. I'm going to crop on the left and right two points. Two, I'm going to hit my tab. Two, hit my tab again. And I'm going to blow it up four points to 229. I'm going to hit my tab again. I've cropped this a little bit so there's no zipper and I've blown it up so there's no zipper on the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it away a little bit so we can see the bottom one. I'm going to turn on my track. You don't have to turn on and off your track here. I did it just so I wanted to show you. So now I have this. I'm going to double click on this, bring it up to motion. This is the preview window. I'm going to click on motion and I'm going to blow it up just to 229 again, four points. I'm going to go to distort and distort the aspect ratio. I'm going to click here, make it zero, hit tab. It doesn't make it uh, wide enough. So this is a minus 360. I'm going to click here and it's going to be a minus 430. Hit tab. I'm not going to do anything here click over here. I'm going to make this a plus 430 because there's no minus there. So 430, hit tab, and now this is stretched over. I'm going to stretch these other two by making this 360 a 430 and this bottom 360 a minus 430. So there we have it. It's stretched to fill. I'm going to click back over here. You can see the good video is here. Here's the edges and everything else is uh, distorted. So we still have this up in the preview window. I'm going to go up to Effects, Video Filter, Blur. I'm going to go with Gaussian Blur. I'm going to click the Filter page and it comes in at 2. Watch this puppy. I'm going to blur it all up and because we can't see the top one here because our playhead is just over the bottom. Let's make it uh, 20 blur. Now when we put the playhead over the top, there it is. I'm going to slide this back to sync it up. You can see I'm going to turn off my uh, little knuckle here. So here's the edge here and here's the edge there. Let's go to the next shot here. It's We could blur it some more. We can blur the living heck out of it. We'll double click on it. Hit filters. Let's make this 40. Let's go to town. Hell, let's bring it up all the way. Here's a hundred blur. So that's what it looks like. Four by three. Now, this is really a big chore to do. So I'm going to make a shortcut. Oh, actually, it looks really nice with the Gaussian blur at a hundred. One thing I'd like to point out before I show you a shortcut on how to add these effects to everywhere is if you feel that this is too big of a blow up because this is a 1080 timeline, double click on the clip, come up to motion, and on scale, go to 100%. I would have a tough time blowing this up to 229. Um, I just think it's not going to look very well. But if you do scale it down, make sure you crop the top and the bottom, at least two points. Depending on your footage, sometimes it comes in with a little 
uh, I call it a zipper, a little uh, outline around it. Um, so that would be my advice. And you really can't blow stuff up to 229 and have acceptable results. But if it works for you, fine. All right, here's our final picture. You got the blur on the edge, uh, cropped on the uh, little edge here, the little, what I call the zipper. And we want to add it down here to these other clips. How do we duplicate this in an easy way? It's really quite simple. I'm going to open my effects, double click on favorites. I'm going to take this favorite folder and shrink it down so I can see it. And uh, I'll shrink this down a little too so my favorite bin is hanging out. So we double click on this here, it brings it up in the timeline, and we go to effects, make favorite motion. And there it is. And what we've done with this motion is this was the crop of two and the blow up to 229. Over here, I'm going to make a new bin and I'm going to call it four by three effects. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to shrink it down. It's going to be right here. I'm going to drag this into my new bin. Next, we're going to come down to this, double click on it, come up to Effects, Make Favorite Motion, and I'm going to rename this. And this was the aspect ratio. I'm going to drag this down here. And also under filters, this is our Gaussian blur. I'm going to drag this over to here. So I'm going to close my favorites, close this, and I'll make this drawer full, full size again. All right, so we come over here, twiddle down here. This is our crop and blow up on the top. Then we'll throw in the aspect ratio, then the Gaussian blur. It did it automatically. Here's the cool thing. We could highlight both these. This is our crop. Highlights them both. Click here. Click on that one. Aspect ratio. Gaussian blur. And you can do them as many at a time as you want. You can highlight all these. Highlight all these. Click along, highlight as many as you want, and it's a nice, simple solution. Not quite automated, but somewhat time-saving. Okay, thanks a lot.